come. I am going to the barber's shop. When we talk of a place that belongs to a person, the rule is that we place an apostrophe oh. after the name and before the S following the name. I buy bread in the store of the uh, baker. No, I mean the baker's shop. Yeah. Very good, Marcelino. Now use the word hen house. Hurry up, Marcelino. You're going to miss all of the fun. We set a trap for Rufo in the hen house. The hen's house? That's where he's heading? Very good, Marcelino. Now close that window, take your seat, and write this in your notebook. <laughs> it's almost too easy. All right, chickens. <laughs> your eggs are your life. If it's eggs you want, come and get them. <laughs> <laughs> and here's my hearty soup. Mm. Come now, Marcelino. Mm. Sit up straight and eat your soup. You look very tired tonight, little one. Marcelino worked good and hard today. School is important, but one really learns a job by doing it. Well, maybe that's <sighs> true for bell ringing, but... Uh, and you, Marcelino, what job would you like when you grow up? Veterinarian. A veterinarian like Dr. Mateo. To become a veterinarian, you need advanced schooling. As the saying goes, as the branches bent, so grows the tree. Schooling is not the most important thing. The wise bird can raise himself up to maturity. Father Pryor is right. You should listen to him. Yeah! Someone better cover this thing up. My dear ladies, I bid you good night. <laughs> What's going on out there that's so funny? It looks like they got that rooster good this time. <laughs> you know, Leo, I do want to be a veterinarian, but that means I'll have to go to a real school. I understand you. I'll have to go to the school in the village. I like Father Pryor's classes a lot, but at the school, I'd learn things faster. And I'd meet lots of new friends, too. That's right, that's right. But now, it's time for bed. in an advantageous region of the globe. Europe's earth is rich and its climate is perfect for farming. But in other less fortunate regions of the world, humans must adapt to the cold, the heat, or the rain. Very good, Marcelino. Four stars. Father Pryor, you weren't here this morning, so I decided to work on geography. What a good student. <laughs> Guess where I went this morning? You went to the bishops? To see the mayor? Or to the duke's house? Not at all. I went to the village school. I spoke with the headmaster. <gasps> and he's agreed to take you into his class. Uh, what, what did you say? I said tomorrow you start school in the village. Hooray! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Brother Bird, tomorrow! I start tomorrow! Uh, uh, what's tomorrow? Brother Pat, I'm going to school tomorrow! Hooray! Brother Proper, Father Pryor has enrolled me in the village school! Shh! Brother 
Ding dong! I start school tomorrow in the village! Whoa! Whoa! tonight. Oh, you're not going to follow me all the way to school, are you? It'll make me look silly. Just for the first day. This is a special day. All right, but only one of you. Brother... Brother Bird, for example. Here we are. Good day, Marcelino. Thanks, Brother Bird. See you tonight. Was that brother your father? <laughs> this is Marcelino. I'd like you all to give him a warm welcome. He's starting school with us today. <laughs> He's the kid from the monastery. <laughs> Roberto? Do you have something to say? Marcelino, you can sit here. Open your reading books to page 28. Fabrizio, you begin, please. Just as the sh sh shark was about to strike the, the wounded man, Captain Nemo le leaped to his feet Juan and... Juan Pablo? He thrust his dagger into the stomach of the beast, stabbing again and again. Marcelino. But he was not able to kill the shark who fought furiously, his eyes red with blood. Can I play? You got any marbles? Um, no. Then you can't play. <laughs> You're too little, Pipsqueak. Find another game. Very good, Marcelino. Perfect. Marcelino, each student must compose an essay. What subject would you like to choose? Well, um... The plants and the animals of the forest. Okay, why not? That's a fine subject. The animals and plants of the forest. See you tomorrow, children. <laughs> You want to come and see my parents' farm? Um, okay. Come on. I'll show you my dad's animals. <laughs> That's Aldo. He got the blue ribbon at last year's farm fair. How are you, Aldo? You can talk? Yeah. Listen here. If you want my advice, I'd be careful when playing with Roberto. Watch it. Don't get too close. He's mean. <sighs> I'm only mean to boys who are cruel. That's all. You know what, Roberto? When I grow up, I want to be a veterinarian. That's good. Then I can call you to heal my sick animals, because I'm going to be a farmer just like my dad. Oh! They're hungry. It's feeding time. 
Can I help you? Yeah, sure. Take this bucket. <laughs> Don't you play with our food. Okay, okay, sorry. I'm getting out. Uh, you better and fast. Hey, uh, you understood me. What do you know? Look at you. And it was just your first day. And then, even though my friend Roberto tried to grab my arm, I fell in anyway. The pigs got angry and started pushing me and stepping on me, but Roberto, he chased the pigs away and got me out safe. He saved me. All's well that ends well, eh, Marcelino? And school, how did you do in class today? Pretty good. The other kids are very nice to me. And it wasn't too hard uh, learning the lessons? Oh, no. I'm one of the best in the class. Be modest, Marcelino. I see you didn't miss us much. You've got new friends now, I guess. No, I don't. I was lying before. The other boys and girls don't like me. They're mean to me. And Roberto made me fall uh, in the trap. Marcelino, trough. don't you have any homework to do tonight? I forgot my history book. So, you forgot your history book. No need to get so upset about it. I'm not going back. I'm not going there tomorrow. The other kids don't like me, and the teacher's gonna punish me. Come now. Don't give up already. You just got started, and tomorrow's a new day. Ow! <laughs> that hurts. Time's up. Give them to me. Here are your grades for the history test. Roberto, five out of ten. Fabrizio, four and a half out of ten. Juan Pablo, nine and a half out of ten. Marcelino, zero. This grade is not acceptable. <laughs> hey, what the? Let me go, you dirt. Get away from those eggs. If you touch them, the smell gets on them and the parents won't sit on them anymore. Who cares? I'm gonna make an omelet. You're not making anything. <laughs> a million thanks to you, child of a thousand moons. Do you know me? All of the animals in the forest know Marcelino. Oh, Leo, thank you. If it wasn't for you, those eggs would be cooking in a skillet. And finally, Italy, France, Portugal, and Spain. Very good, Marcelino. This time, you've learned the lesson well. You've earned 10 out of 10. Oh! This means war. After school, I'll give you a three-minute head start. You better run fast if you want to get back to your monks in one piece. My neighbor saw some juicy strawberries at the marketplace.
course. Tell me, what's your name? My name's Stubborn, and I don't talk to humans. Stubborn, I need your help to save your master, Roberto. Save him? Never. He's much too mean to me, and the other animals, too. Stubborn, wait! What if Roberto promises to be nice to you? Then would you help me save him? <laughs> he'll never agree to that. Let me talk to him, and I promise you, he'll keep his word. Stubborn is going to help me get you back to the farm. But only if you promise to be kind to him and all of the other animals. <sighs> I was right. What's the use, Marcelino? He can't understand. Just try. You'll see whether he understands or not. Stubborn, I'm really sorry for all the mean things I've done. I promise I'll be kind to you and all of the other animals from now on. It looks like he understands. Good. Now let's go. Stubborn, lay down next to Roberto. <laughs> Say please, Stubborn. I don't <laughs> get it, Marcelino. How do you know his name? He told me. Um, I'll explain later. Breakfast is served! It's Saturday today. I don't have school. How are you getting along at school? I got 10 out of 10 in geography, and the same in reading and math. The hen who clucks the loudest doesn't always lay the most eggs. And some history? Uh, um, history? Zero out of ten. Oh. Well, it's because I forgot my history book. But next time I'll do better. And besides, there are more important things in life. Oh. My friends, follow me. I could use your help. No, Rufo. Today's still not a good day. What's the problem now? Marcelino needs you over by the clearing. Hurry up! He's waiting. can't get it to look right. Can we please change the pose? Oh, this is too hard. I have to find a different idea. Thanks, Lola. Come here, please, everyone. I'd like to ask you all a favor. Thanks for yesterday. I'm sorry about the pigs, the eggs, the threats and everything. So, do you want to be my friend? I am your friend, Roberto. But how did you get stubborn to be so nice? Um, I talked to him really gently and, uh... Friends of Roberto's are respected by everyone. And friends of Marcelino's are friends with all of the animals. Quiet is the line. <laughs> After the plants, we have the animals. But I had a hard time drawing them. Yeah, seeing them, too. No, not really. In the forest, we find the owl, who normally sleeps in the day and hunts at night. But this one's made an exception today. Oh. Shh, don't scare him. And then 
there is the wild boar, and the stags, and the foxes, and the wolves. <gasps> oh, wow, look at that. <gasps> You're friends with the animals? You are too. Hey, <laughs> that's right.